Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to have a look at PowerShell PNP on PowerShell Core. It's out on pre-release right now and we're going to start from scratch. So we're going to install PowerShell Core and then we'll install the PNP PowerShell module and finally we'll have a look at how to connect to this module because it might differ from what we're used to. So let's jump in. Let's start by doing a search for PowerShell Core. Now, if I scroll down a little bit and I will have installed PowerShell on Windows because I'm on the Windows machine right now. Let's scroll down a little bit and we can see that we can install the MSI package and it gives you an example. So I'm on a Windows machine, like I said, so I'm going to look for the latest release for PowerShell 7. And we have a handy link in here for the releases, so I'm going to click on that. And we have different releases. We can see that this one is a pre-release for the version 7.1.0 release candidate. So we're not going to take that one for now. But I'm going to scroll down. And we have again a pre-release in here. I'm going to continue to scroll down because what I want to do here and I want to go for a stable release. So. So the latest release is the version 7.0.3. So that's the one I want to take. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. And I'm going to look at my operating system, which is Windows and 64 bit. Now the download is finished. I'm going to open the folder. And I'm going to install PowerShell Core. Click Next. You can customize your installation. I'm going to add this one as well and click on Next and install. Now I can click on Finish and let's check if PowerShell Core has been installed. I'm going to open the terminal. So by default, I'm on Windows PowerShell in here. But then you can see that automatically it has installed PowerShell Core, which is this one. And you can see at the top already that it says PowerShell version 7. But let's verify this. And we are indeed on PowerShell Core this time. Great. So now that we have installed PowerShell Core, we need to install the PNP PowerShell module to work on PowerShell Core. So if we go into the GitHub repo, let me just close that down. And this is the new repo for the new PNP PowerShell on PowerShell Core. So if we scroll down a little bit, so here we have some very useful information and it tells you that this module is the successor of the PNP PowerShell module, which is now referred to the old module or the classic module that we used on Windows PowerShell. So the latest version for Windows PowerShell was the version 5.1. And it also tells you that this old PowerShell module, which was working on SharePoint Online, but also on SharePoint On-Prem 2013, 16 and 19 is not going to be the case for the PowerShell module on PowerShell Core. This is very important because you will only be able to manage SharePoint Online. And I believe at the time of recording this video that the target date for this new module to be GA or general availability will be December 2020. So we have some very useful information in here on how to install the module or update the module, see which version you have. So let's start by using the install module. And like I mentioned, it's a pre-release. So we need to add the allo pre-release parameter. So let's grab this, copy that, I'm going to open the terminal, I'm going to go on PowerShell Core and install the module. I'm going to say yes. Now let's check it's been installed properly. We're going to grab this command. And indeed, it's been installed. And right now we are at version 0 0.1.15. 
And also for information, at this point in time, the module is updated nightly. So every day you will have a new version. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to update every single day if you're not using this module every single day. If you update this module today and then you're not using it before next week, for instance, then next week you can run the command to update the module and you will have directly the latest version. All right, now that it's installed, we need to connect to it. And so we have a few steps for this. And to know if there are some changes when you install a new module, for instance, or you never use this module, then we need to refer to the documentation. So this page is going to tell you how you can connect to this new module. And as we can see in here, we have a few steps. First, we need to register the PNP management shell access. So we can grant access to this module in our Azure AD. And then we have a few ways to connect. So if you use the PNP module before, you must be familiar with how we need to connect. Now, the only difference in here would be that before we didn't need to have the credentials parameter because we could have our credentials in the credential manager on our Windows machine. Now, it is still the case in here, but we still need to have the credentials parameter. And so as you can see in here, we need to use the credential parameter and we can still put our label. There's another way in here to also grab your credentials from your machine, and that can be followed on a Windows machine or on Mac OS or on Linux. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to run this command. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go into the terminal. And with this command, we also need to enter either the Azure environment or we also have the site URL. So I'm going to grab the site URL. And this one is the URL of my root site on my tenant. And as you can see, you need to authenticate with the code. I'm going to click on OK to open with Edge. And click on Next. And now we can close this window. After that, our next step would be to add our credentials into our credential manager. Again, that's because I'm on a Windows machine and I'm going to grab this command. Now, you may notice that there's a little typo in this command, but it might be fixed by the time you're watching this video, which is actually add PNP stored credential. Then I'm going to change my label. and enter my username, asking me for the password. Let me just grab it. And then the next step would be to use the connect PNP online and use our new label. Now to make sure it works, let's do a get PNP list. And we have our list. If you had any issues while you run the get PNP list, it might be that you do not have enough permission on your Azure AD. So go and check it out and add the required permissions. And just something else that actually goes along with it is that when we talk PowerShell PNP, we're not only talking about SharePoint anymore. We're also talking about Microsoft Teams. And since last July, you may have seen that we have some Microsoft Teams commandlet in the same module. So it means that we can also manage Microsoft Teams in PowerShell Core. So check this out. And there we have it. We can use those PNP Microsoft Teams commandlet directly in PowerShell Core as well. All right. I hope this video will get you started with PowerShell PNP to manage SharePoint and Microsoft Teams on PowerShell Core. Deep no cool shit.